Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a high fade with a design. I'm going to start off by clearing off all the bulk on his head, taking it down with uh, my one and a half guard closed, just clearing all the area I'm going to fade in. And now you can see I'm using a lower guard with uh, my one guard open, which is equivalent to one and a half guard closed, it's just a little bit shorter. Um, I started off with the one and a half closed just to clear the area and then smooth it over with the guard that's lower. And right here, you can see I'm debulking the area below that where I'm going to be um, blending down to skin. This is really the foundation for my fade. I'm just setting up uh, how high I want it and the shape I want to create on the head. Right here, I'm taking down all the hair and making sure everything's smooth. I take my time doing this, and um, I don't really rush this part because this really sets up your fade to really have a nice um, foundation and to really suit uh, your client's head. And you can see I'm taking my time clearing off all the bulk below that line, making sure it's really clean. Now I'm setting up my first guideline with my blade open, and I'm going up about an inch, inch and a half, um, giving myself enough room to create a nice uh, blend, while also leaving enough room uh, to blend into the rest of my bulk. And you can see my guideline is consistent all the way around the head. This is one of the most important parts to create a consistent fade on someone's head. You want to make sure that that line is consistent and um, symmetrical with all your other lines. And right here you can see I'm just slowly blending it out, um, opening and closing my lever as need be. So I'm blending that blade open uh, into uh, basically my skin line. and slowly closing my guard and opening my guard as need be and uh, you see me constantly brushing the area making sure it's clean so that I could see you know what I need to cut uh, appropriately and right here I'm just finishing off uh, the back I typically work um, left side right side back of the head I like to break it up into parts just to make it easier to uh, do uh, now this is my next guideline with the the one guard open. So we start off with the one guard open on the top of the head. So I know this is really going to blend into it pretty seamlessly. And uh, you see me going against the grain in uh, all areas of the head. And right now I just switched to my uh, half guard. So I did the blade open, one guard open, and now I'm using the half guard to blend it in between those lines and really bring that transition together. You see me slowly closing the lever and blending it out and alternate between my one guard and half guard. Now I'm cleaning off his head and I'm beginning to do my design. Uh, this design was a freestyle design. So I started off um, basically going off the of basics of what I know. I started off with a nice little curved line where I think it would suit uh, my client. And uh, from there, added another line off of that. And you see how I accentuate certain parts of the design to bring out um those drastic changes i feel like it really adds to a design and brings it to life having some areas thicker some areas thinner and i really um you know this is a little fast forward but i really take my time and make sure that the design fits my client's head and i slowly like just attack the line and make it longer curve it make it thicker as need be and hit it from appropriate angles. Like you could see right here, I'm holding my trimmer upside down and I'm holding it regularly and it really helps me um, really get in the nooks and crannies of the design to make sure it's uh, clean all the way through. And right here, I'm just finishing off the design, adding a little accent piece towards the end. Now I'm just cleaning off all his uh, facial hair you see me um lifting up his neck i like to um work smarter not harder i don't want to be bending my back all day um trying to clean up all this hair so i just asked my client you know can you lift up your chin for me and i clean it off now i'm cleaning off his mustache and making sure my client is clean cleaning off his face now i'm beginning to shape him up and uh i just lightly tap his edges and um make sure it stands out and I always like to go back over it multiple times. Now I'm hitting it with the razor just to give it that final touch, as you can see. And um, next, I'll be hitting the design with my razor. 
to really make it pop out i feel like the trimmers a really great foundation for your um lines and your shape up but that razor really uh brings it out and brings it to the next level uh and same with the design really one of the key parts in doing designs in my opinion is making sure all your lines are clean with like no hair in it it really makes it makes it stand out and pop because it's skin and nothing else contrasting with the fade right here i'm using a foil shaver and just cleaning off the top of his head this is just going to get rid of all like um the flyaway hairs that are sticking out after a haircut you could go over multiple times with your clipper to clean it off or use uh, a foil shaver and i'm basically doing the same concept on the fade just now what you've seen and bl now i'm blending out the very bottom of the uh, fade to complete skin and there you go now you see the after and the transformation of this haircut.